everyone, I'm back to make another video. I'm going to be a sailboat, um, kind of just floating on the horizon, and maybe later in the day, which is basically going to see the silhouette. I don't have a reference. I took a picture of the boat itself, and and um, and I'm just going to look at it on my phone, and we're going to work from there. So. You can see that I am using a 20 by 20 canvas. I painted it red first because that red popping through on this painting is really going to make it work. So here we go. I'm going to start. Now, I don't pretend to know a whole lot about all the lines and riggings of a sailboat. I kind of make it up as I go, which drives some true sailors crazy. but. It's, it works. Sometimes it works. This is just going to be the silhouette. And it's going to be like, I don't know, about maybe like time to take it, take the sails down. I know it's got a boom thing right there. And if I want my boat to be sh uh, shorter this distance, was my head in that scene? I no. just feel like I was jumping a little bit too much into this scene. Um, that's about all I need. So then I'm going to take next, I'm going to clean my brush off, and I'm going to just you put some white on there. Oops, I dripped it. I don't care. Um, Well, it looks pretty shabby, <laughs> but that's all right. Uh, it's just, you know, my paintbrush, my brush strokes are suggestions of form. And then I am going to start, now that white is going to soak in to that dark hooker's green that I have already. My paint is very wet today, and that is because I oversprayed it. But better too wet than too dry, that's what I say. There we go. Um, let's just cut in real quick. Let's cut in a sky. I'm going to start, I'm going to pick up my pure white titanium. And I'm always exploring skies. If I'm, I gotta keep, I can't keep it on one side of the boat. It's gotta go on both sides. So maybe that's just a cloud. Am I? I am not worried that this is going to be a white sail against a white cloud. I like that because. That's almost going to be a lost edge where your eye can go from one shape to another easily without it being, the boat is not going to look like it's cut and pasted onto the background. That's what I'm trying to say. We got to have some lost edges somewhere. Is that light blue? Yes, light blue. I'm just kind of, you know, I don't claim to be a great sky painter, that's for sure. I. I'm still trying to learn and figure it out, and I try different things all the time. This is going back with some white. I'm just going to kind of play around with my sky. Now, acrylic dries a little darker, and it's going to soak in, so soak into the canvas. I'm picking up light blue violet right now. I'm going to put this further up. other side with my light blue violet and 
maybe I'll put a little bit down here. You know, there can be shadows underneath the clouds. Oops, I picked up a little bit of that boat. Be nice and loose. Don't be afraid. You can't really do anything wrong. You just can't. Well, you can, but <laughs> you can fix it. You can fix it. Okay, so there I kind of have a sky. I'm going to let that, you know, when that dries, um, I'll probably put another coat on it, so I'm not going to worry about anything too much. And now when I do water, I just do my little strokes like this. I don't do staples. Everything going evenly across. Is that light blue and... Yeah, it's just kind of white and light blue. I was just kind of testing. Right now, what's bothering me is these sails are just oh. dripping. We're fine. The boat looks like an old... <laughs> yeah, it's been sitting there in the weather and it's been neglected. So I, what I do is I just take different colors. Now I'll just take the light blue. And I just make these horizontal little brush strokes that make waves or ripples. And notice I don't go evenly across my whole body of water. I kind of stay in little areas and I travel sometimes just off to another place, but kind of like it's an area because shadow gets cast on water too. And also water travels in pools of different temperatures. And so I, I like to make my water uh, just different um, sections of color kind of hanging out together. If that makes any sense. And then I'm gonna go in with a darker color maybe here just for a few few places. I'm going to travel over here with my green. Is that That's a hooker's green, hooker's, with, hooker's, green. hooker's green with white. Okay. It might have a little yellow. My palette's getting a little bit. The colors are meshing, let's put it that way. Let's try a different color. Let's try the light blue violet. So therefore, what I'm really doing is I, I will be filling in all of the water with these little lines. And it takes a while. Sometimes I feel like I'm doing a jigsaw puzzle or a quilt because it just takes a while for every little shape to fill in to make the scene. That is white mixed with slop. <laughs> so, you know, it's sometimes at the end of the day, your colors are going to be kind of mix, mixed together, and you'll, you might have to just use it. Let's just try some white. Let's see what that looks like. I always add white to the end of, uh, you know, the last ones in my water, because it, sometimes it looks like, you know how you see the water sparkle? just keep doing this and it's it's relaxing and it's rewarding because you can just kind of see how this is coming together as a scene. I'm going to go dry this. I cannot finish this boat while it's wet. This boat should have dried a little bit. I hit it with the hair dryer. We took a break. So I'm going to go back into my white. Maybe just a little bit of Naples yellow and just hit one side of the sails. Maybe a little bit over here. I just have really having drift problems today. The 
If I don't like that, which I don't, I'm going to just cut, paint the sky right over it. Make that a better shape. Control the drips. You're the boss. Don't let them be the boss. Go in with a, a brilliant purple, light blue violet, and maybe some um, Naples in there. Just some shadowy colors for my sail. I'm going to go in with my smaller brush, my half inch Princeton. I'm going to load it up with some dark hooker's green and maybe some alizarin crimson. Maybe I'll throw a little bit of burnt sienna here to give this boat just not so much darkness. And I'm going to drop some of that reflection of the boat into the water. I'm going to pick up some blue with some white. I'm going to go back in and thin out some parts of this boat. and that's where my water is. And I guess it's time to go back. Oh, I'm going to put, you know, I want this to be kind of the rear part of the boat. Like it's kind of at an angle. So I'm going to just change that up a little bit there. Just a little bit. You know, if you want to do this painting, you, there are so many images of sailboats out there. You can just go find one and put you, any kind of boat you want any kind of a, a sailboat is good though, but I mean any kind of sailboat you want, you can just Google sailboat images and all kinds will pop up and you can pick one that you like. Or maybe you have a sailboat, you can do your own. And that's light blue, right? Yes. Now another beautiful color combination is white with phthalo green. And maybe a touch of yellow, well, cadmium yellow light and white. It just makes this beautiful look at this aqua green like this. I want it a little lighter than that. And I have to cover all of this. You know, um, you notice I put my horizon line lower in the painting because you never want to cut your painting in half with the horizon line. And putting your horizon line lower uh, makes the painting more atmospheric because you do pick up so much of the sky and it's almost like you're, you're kind of looking down or across the scene but you're not, you're not in directly in the scene. So always make sure that your horizon, horizon line, that's what you should start with and um, put that lower on your canvas. When I initially drew it, we were filming, but something happened and we had to, to kind of kill that footage. So I'm explaining it to you now. And I'm just going to keep going on with these blues until the whole thing is full. You can also, at some point, well, I'm going to put a couple more here in. Because I want to show you, sometimes this works great and sometimes it doesn't, but I'm just going to take a little bit of white on my little brush and just kind of smear it down there, just kind of look like the shadowing of the yeah, or reflection. reflection. 
just a little bit. Um, if you don't want to do this, if it seems kind of scary, because it is, uh, <laughs> don't do it. Um, then I'm going to go back with um, my light blue and my light blue um, violet and probably make some more lines going over here. Covering it up a little bit. Water's getting real <laughs> wet. Isn't that ironic? But um, it's, it's real wet down there, so I can't do much with it. Um, you know, not too much more to be said. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put like some line there. That looks kind of cool. I don't, don't know much about boats, but I sure love them. <laughs> so I gotta make a, it's gotta be real dark. This painting is very wet, but it's, it's fun to work that way too. Um, I need to make a little bit of a darker, I'm going to put some, my favorite hooker's green mixed with the light blue. And maybe some light blue violet. Just trying to get it darker. Some darker, mm -hmm. yeah. Something's got to pop or make the blue I have pop. So eventually this will all be covered. And then as you can see, my sky soaked in. So I think I'll get it one more time. Maybe with uh, some clouds. Look how you get that sailboat is not cut and paste anymore. It belongs in the scene, in the background. It's all together. So much easier on the eye. Too much. I want more blue back there. Just saw that. So that's basically it. I can, you know, I can keep painting over what I've already showed you, but um, there's no sense in you just watching me fill up space. But. Uh, I lost my boom. No, that was it kind of lower here. But you could just kind of make some different various shapes to um, indicate that there's something going on there. I don't know. And would the horizon line keep dark? You know, you can because it looks kind of like a landmass back right. there. So if it does, let's just add some landmass. Yeah. see how that works. If we don't like it, we can kill that too, so it's fine. Maybe I'll, put, I'll repeat some dark green down here. And then, you know, as, as the uh, paint dries, you'll just be kind of adding where there's light, just these little sparkles of white. Just try it. See if you like it. If you don't, you don't need to keep them. Should I just keep going here? So filled it up. Let's put some more of that green. The 
green just brings us right to the tropics. Or Lake Michigan. It is beautiful and it's got the most beautiful aqua color. Just kind of go like that. So I'm getting there. I'm, I mean, I'll, the boat is still wet and I can probably just hit it one more time. Here I go, painting over wet paint like I tell everybody not to do. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll probably reflect that. Uh, I'll bring the boat, the dark part of the boat reflecting in the water when the water dries. I'm bringing down some reflection of the, the mass and then I'm going to do this because I'm just seeing how that's working. Reflection is like it just dropped right down, straight. So I will play around with this when I can sit in front of it and maybe pop out some little details in here. But I'm not, you know, I put my picture away. It's just too wet for me to, to do anything. But so what do I do? I keep working. I'm still a little warmth in that sail. A little warm and green. I think that's all I've got to say. I'm gonna I'm gonna stop right there and then when I have a fresh eye I'll come back and maybe finish and tweak it out a little bit. So that's about it for this painting. Um, I am going to work on it some more when it's bone dry like tomorrow or the next day and um, I'll go in and just probably fill out a little bit more details and uh, just maybe put some stronger values in the water. I can't keep working on this because it's soaking wet. And um, I need to probably put another coat of blue over there. So I'll finish it and we'll, we'll post the finished product at the start of this or the opening of this video. Beginning and ending. Beginning. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, but thank you for hanging out with me, paint, trying to paint this boat. And we'll be bringing more videos. Hmm. Okay, thank you.